Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have the continuation of our Snell Prime rebrand reviews. Uh, we did, of course, you know, the regular Prime, you know, the other day, and now we are actually doing the X model. So let's dive right in. So if you missed the review on the regular Prime, basically here's kind of the gist. Uh, Snell has gone through a complete rebrand. They have a brand new logo, a brand new site. Um, everything looks new, it looks refreshed. As you can see down there below, the logo just looks phenomenal. These, the X model actually has a red number at the bottom, opposed to just being all black. And uh, of course the X model is gonna be probably for your faster swingers, have a little bit more spin, be able to work the ball a little bit more. Um, the compression's about 85 to 90, so it's not super, super much higher compression than the original Prime, uh, but it's definitely enough to where it's gonna affect it, especially with me being like a 92 mile an hour swing speed. I had really good results with the Prime, which makes me wonder if this one might be a little less than the Prime, just because I think it's for faster swing speeds. This might be for like 100 mile an hour. So we'll test that, we'll see what we come up with. Uh, but first let's get into the design of the golf ball. This is just like, uh, you know, the, the Prime I did. I, I love the rebrand of the logo, I love that. I love the alignment tool on the side. This one even has the MTB Prime X. Everything is still symmetrical. It is super easy to line up your golf ball. I love what he did with the alignment tool. And of course, it feels really good as well. This actually feels a little thicker, not much, but a little thicker than the, uh, the Prime felt. It actually felt pretty thin. Uh, this one actually feels a little thicker as far as the coating, the urethane coating on the outside. And that kind of makes me wonder because the Prime actually had a perfect durability rating, a perfect five out of five. So it kind of makes me wonder if this one will be similar um, or actually maybe even a little bit better just because it has a little bit more coating on there, you can tell. So we'll, we'll definitely test that. Uh, but overall, great design of the golf ball. I love the rebrand. Uh, let's go ahead and get out to the chipping and putting green. Let's see how it does. All right, so the MTB Prime had a really good amount of checkup, but it it didn't really go left or right, and I didn't expect it to, but it actually checked all the boxes. So how does the X do? Well, the X does exactly like it's supposed to and like it says it does also. Not only does it have a ton of backspin to be able to check up from chips off the green uh, and pitches off the green as well, but I'm actually able to get this ball to bend left and bend right how I want. So that means that if you're someone who is in that intermediate stage, maybe the X isn't for you because trust me, if you do close that face a little bit or open it, it's gonna go left or right on you. It definitely does that really well. I was able to get this ball to spin a ton. Um, it has a little bit thicker of your thing coating, so it has a little bit more spin than the regular MTB Prime does. Um, I gotta say, it's got a lot of checkup, and this one is a little bit firmer. It has that click, you know? It has that click that a lot of those firmer golf balls do. It definitely doesn't click as loud as a TP5X, uh, but it definitely is on the firmer side for sure. So if you're someone who's used to playing a firmer ball and it has a little bit of click to it, that's this one right here. I was actually a little bit surprised how different the MTB Prime and the Prime X felt and sounded off the club. There was a, a considerable difference there. This one's definitely more firmer, more clicky. Uh, so if that would turn you off, you might want to look elsewhere. But other than that, it performs really good. The, I mean, the consistency was there and I was able to kind of get the golf ball to do what I wanted to with it. So that controlled spin that, uh, you know, Snell promised earlier on that little card I showed you, it's actually accurate. It really was able to do that. Off the putter, I was just amazed at how soft and buttery it was, despite the fact uh, that, that it is the firmer X golf ball. There is a slight difference here as far as this one having a click. It definitely is a little more noticeable, but it isn't as big of a difference as far as with the wedge. And I couldn't believe the forgiveness off the putter. Being an X golf ball and be only losing about a foot off miss hits, really, really good. So Snell's done a wonderful job around the green. Um, the MTB Prime was pretty much you know, a, a perfect score around the green. I didn't have any issues with it at all. And this one's gonna be about the same. It's, uh, the only thing that would really deter people is if you don't like that click. But other than that, it checks all the boxes. Really good there, I like that. Getting into the feel, it actually feels a lot like uh, the Prime does. It actually, there's not much difference. I mean, it might feel slightly firmer, but not by much. It has a lot of that same feel. And as I mentioned in the video before, it kind of feels and acts like a Pro V1. I mean, you can obviously tell that Snell with his fingerprints, he's gonna make a golf ball, he's gonna make another golf ball. They're gonna obviously look and feel similar because he made them. <laughs> so um, with that being said, if you're someone who does like you know, a Pro V1 or a Pro V1X feel somewhere in there, um, you might actually really dig this. It's not my personal preference. It's a little firmer than I would like. Um, it's a little bit, I mean, if, if you have a scale here and you, know, you have soft and you have firm and balanced is in the middle, it might be just a slight step above that and be firm. Maybe the Prime was here and then the X is here, but it's close. It's really, really close. Um, it's not like the TP5 where the TP5 is, you know, medium and then the TP5X feels like you're hitting a boulder. It's, it's not that 
it's not a greater difference than that. So really like that. I don't like it when it's too big of a difference. So I think it's a really smart play there to still make it soft. And they even advertise it as being firmer. The X golf ball, if you remember correctly, does feel firmer, which not much firmer, but it does feel firmer. And it's supposed to fly higher and have more controlled iron spin, of course, uh, opposed to just the high iron spin. So you're supposed to be able to work this one a little bit more, which makes sense for an X model golf ball. All right, so let's get into these numbers now without further ado. Uh, let's see how we did. So starting off with the nine iron ball speed, 88.9, which is a little bit below my average, which I kind of expected is firmer. Um, it doesn't feel like I'm compressing it as well as I did the regular MTB Prime. Uh, 123.4 on your iron distance, uh, which actually, 123.4 on your distance, which is, yeah, I lost about three yards, but again, with that ball speed, that does make sense. Uh, 115.8. Definitely lower than average there, and a 24 launch, which went a little bit higher than the prime, um, but it's also a little bit more than my average as well. So one thing I will say about these numbers, I expected them to be a little low. They were a little lower than I thought they would be, but I will say I went back and actually looked at them line by line, and really where this ball's already coming into play is forgiveness. Uh, because it's a little bit higher compression compared to my swing speed, when you hit it flush, I actually do get my average numbers even a little bit better than my average numbers. But if you do miss hit it even just a little bit off the toe or even a little bit inside, you lose quite a bit of ball speed and enough ball speed and enough distance to make the offset average this low. Uh, so really not forgiving there. You're going to definitely want to be swinging at least 100 mile an hour to, to hit this golf ball for sure. I can already tell you. But that's kind of what it's designed for, so I can't knock it. So let's see if we continue on. Let's see how bad the numbers get. Uh, for the 7 iron, we're looking at 6,534, uh, which actually is still pretty good. That's above my average. It's only slightly lower than the MTB Prime, uh, but still enough to stop and come back at you. Excellent spin on both these golf balls. If you're someone that really loves checkup and spin, um, that, that seems to be the name of the game here. 106.2 on your ball speed, which is actually only slightly below average, so I must have been striking the 7 pretty good. Uh, 159.7, uh, right in line with average. 147.9, right in line with average. And it launched just ever ever so slightly higher than the Prime did, and it launched higher than my average. So good ball flight, consistent ball flight, and this one actually did perform a little bit better, maybe because I was compressing it with the 7 a little bit better. So overall, that's good to see. Um, if you're someone who, the reason I say you want to have a uh, 100 mile an hour swing speed for this golf ball isn't necessarily just because of the, the, the numbers as a whole, but what happens is, is the seven iron might be good for you if you're 95 mile an hour. Um, the, the six iron, the, the five hybrids, your, your woods, all those might actually be really good because you're able to compress them a little bit better. But once you get to the eight iron, the nine iron, the pitching wedge, your sand wedges, your short game, you're gonna notice a drop off, especially on miss hits because you're just not compressing the ball as much. So that's probably why if you're below 100, you want to stick with the prime. If you're above 100, definitely you can go for the X model because you're going to need that forgiveness. You're going to need that swing speed to forgive you. Getting into the five hybrid, 4,429, which again is really good. It's actually a little bit better than the prime was. And so again, really good spin. I love the spin on this golf ball. 118.2, which is actually, that's really good ball speed, 195.3. So now we're really compressing this golf ball a lot more, especially because it's a hybrid, getting a lot more distance, 181.4. And it launched 15.7, which was the same as the MTB. And if you watch that review, I talked about how I love my hybrids to launch high. I love being able to get them to stop on the green and even on a dime, and that's about as close as it gets. Getting that type of ball speed, that type of ball flight, that high, and also getting that type of spin, really good numbers. It's like I said in the previous review, if you can get the golf ball up in the air and get more spin and get more distance, really good stuff there. It doesn't get much better than that. Getting into the driver now, this one has me a little worried because I'm not the best ball striker when it comes to the driver. And uh, unfortunately, you can see by those numbers there, it kind of hurt me a little bit. And again, this is on miss hits. I want to make sure that's abundantly clear. This is miss hits. I, when I actually hit the golf ball, it does just fine. It goes my averages. But if you miss hit it a little bit and I have the most forgiving driver on the market, one of the, well, my golf's by one of the most forgiving drop, my, excuse me, but I have one of the most forgiving and it still was a big drop off if I miss hit it. So again, that's why you want that swing speed to forgive you. But 2,687, that's a good amount of spin. It's low. Uh, 237.1, I lost about six yards, 132.2, uh, 216.3, and then 14.1. So it actually launched low. It launched a lot lower than the Prime did. 
So it launched, you know, relatively low, you know, especially compared to my average. Um, and those numbers are just okay. But again, it, it goes back to that forgiveness. You got to be swinging 100 mile an hour. Um, anything under that, you really don't want to get into this because there's going to be a lot of inconsistencies, as you can see there, where you're going to end up losing some yards on miss hits. So below 100, definitely stick to the prime. When it comes to durability, as you know, the MTB Prime got a perfect five out of five, and there is no less here. I actually ended up hitting this one 85 times. Don't ask me why I hit it so many. I, I was getting inconsistent numbers, and I wanted to make sure it was good. I wanted to make sure it was accurate. So I hit a few more, long story short. <laughs> uh, but I hit 85 shots, which is really abnormal for me. But the golf ball looked phenomenal. So I used a little Dawn soap on it, rubbed it off, put it back in the sleeve. And I handed all three golf balls to my father-in-law. And I said, hey, which one of these do you think I hit? And he had to look for a good two and a half minutes at him. And he, he ended up making the right guess. But the only way he could tell was on the side. Of course, as you guys know, I always use golf dots to test um, for golf dots as well. And he could see a little chip on the American flag flag in that, but that was the only thing he could find. Um, that's, I mean, if I could give a six out of five, I would. I mean, hitting a golf ball 85 times and you can't even tell that it was hit is pretty phenomenal. Um, it's extraordinary. So, I mean, just the best durability I've ever seen on a golf ball as of this moment is the Snell MTB Prime X, period. That's the truth. Um, I know the Primes were always the best ones I'd tested anyway, and, and uh, with the, the Prime, I'm sorry, the Snells. The Prime was the best one I had tested probably, and then you know the Snell befores were really good, but, but this is by far the best I've ever seen. It just doesn't get any better than that. I mean, the fact that he couldn't tell and he had to look at them closely and examine, he, I mean, 85 shots, guys, that's a whole round of golf. And I mean, that means this thing's gonna get you to two or three rounds if you don't lose it. So really great there. Overall, a really good golf ball. I love what they've done. Snell's rebrand has been awesome. The MTB Prime performed really, really well for me because my swing speed was 92. So I would say if you're 90 to 99, stick with the MTB Prime. Really great golf ball. And if you haven't seen that review yet, you can actually look at it. I'll put the link below. So go check that one out as well if you're in that range. So if your swing speed is 90 to 99, I would definitely stay with the MTB Prime. I had really great results with it with that. Um, if you're 100 or over, definitely go with the X. It honestly performed and acted just like a Pro V1, just like the Prime did. You're gonna love it if you love that. You'll get it for a lot cheaper of a price, um, but you'll still get really great results and really great consistency from a guy who has been doing it right for a long time. Um, if you're below 90, I'd probably stay away from both of them, just because if you're below that, there are a lot of moderate swing golf balls out there. Uh, maybe even the Snell gets some. I haven't had a chance to review that yet, but I, maybe I'll order some. I'll get a hold of some somehow and I'll review those as well because I know the Get Some before did really well on my testing also. So I'd love to do the new version of that also. Um, but maybe stick to something like that. I know there's a lot of reviews on the channel as well for, for you know, balls in that swing speed, but I don't think you would get the full effect out of it. I think you'd start to see some losses in distance, um, you know, distance, ball flight. I think it would just kind of start to affect and it might, it might hurt your game a little bit. I appreciate Snell sending them to me. Means a lot. I'm glad I got to test them. Snell's always been one of my favorite golf balls and it looks like they're just continuing doing the right thing keeping the golf balls at an affordable price point for golfers while not sacrificing any of their quality. Great job, Snell. Guys, as always, keep watching to keep saving, and until next time.